God has not stopped making men and women wonders on earth. In Psalm 113, 7-8, He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dunghill. He is the one that raises the poor out of poverty. That he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. I declare to someone who has been the lowest ebb of life, your position will change. Jesus met a madman of Gadara who was a terror. He turned his life around and made him a wonder. People came and saw him sitting at the feet of Jesus in Mark chapter 5, 15, 20. They were surprised. The man became the one evangelist that ravaged 10 cities. He specializes in making non-entities God entities. Lazarus, who was already a decayed man, according to the sister, in John chapter 11, she said, by this time my brother stinketh. In John chapter 12, verse 9, he became a tourist attraction. Everybody wanted to see Lazarus. You'll be the next showpiece on the earth. In the name of Jesus. The word wonder refers to that feeling of amazement and admiration caused by something remarkable and unfamiliar. When there's something say wonder, it means simple. Wonder is simply wonders. Wonder is what? Whatever makes you to wonder. I define wonders as whatever makes you to what? He said this is a wonder. That is a wonder. <laughs> Anything that makes you what? To say wow. Any wow is a wonder. Any what? A kingdom wonder is one who by reason of an encounter with God becomes an amazing figure. And such admiration in his or her environment or the world at large. And one major force that launches one into a world of wonder is dedication. Is what? Dedication. Dedication to God and his kingdom is what makes you live a colorful life. What is dedication? What is Dedication. Dedication means to be possessed by and obsessed with the kingdom of God. Dedication means high kingdom mindedness. It means passionate commitment to the things of God. In John 14, 23, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and will come unto him and make our boat with him. When God makes his abode with you, men will marvel at your results. That's how the next thing God will do in your life will bring many to Christ. Yeah. When you become passionate about God and his affairs, he places you on the stage for supernatural beautification. That's what God does. And when God beautifies you, you know what you, how you end. You become a showpiece on... Yeah. Dedication means to be sold out to God. It means to be dead to serve and alive to God. John 12, 24. Except very, very last son, three, except the corner will force the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it dies, begin for what? Much fruit. Nothing multiplies until it is sown. Until your life becomes a seed planted in the ground of the kingdom, you will never experience fruitful and admirable destiny. Acid test for dedication. How do I know I'm dedicated? How can I say I'm dedicated? Is it with words, words that I just say I'm dedicated? No, God knows I'm dedicated. God knows I'm dedicated. No. In 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, it says, Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own what? Selves. Know ye not? Not your own selves? How that Christ Jesus is in you? Except ye what? Reprobates. Examine yourself to know whether you're dedicated or not. Self-examination is a sign of maturity. As it is here, if you have a crucial analysis, that indicates the presence or absence of dedication in one's life. So we will evaluate your own level of dedication with the following questions. You will evaluate your level of what? Your own level of dedication with the following questions. The questions I will ask now, you will answer them. And then when you answer them, you score yourself. From there, you will know whether you're dedicated or not. You, you don't need to answer them. Just when I, when I begin to ask, ask, oh, this one I don't do that bad. This one I do. 
Good. So you examine yourself whether you be what? Dedicated or whether you're dedicated or not. You take self evaluation by answering the following questions. Number one, do I undertake kingdom interest and let go personal matter when the two conflict? When there is a conflict of time. For instance, I have to watch Arsenal and Man U. At the same time, there is service. Which one should come first? That's when you know you're dedicated. You say, you say, I have political meeting and then I have church. Which one should come first? Hmm? That's when you know you're dedicated. At that point, you know that you are what? Dedicated. Number two, how many souls have I won? Followed up or assisted until they established in the church? At least in this first half of the year. How am I committed to operation Andrew? That's how you know you're dedicated. If you're not committed, you're not what? You've already committed crime. Committee without commitment will commit crime. Number, <laughs> Number three, do I always look out for what to do to advance or add value to the church without looking for accommodation. That's how I know I'm dedicated. Do I always look out for what to do to advance or add value to the church without looking for what? Commendation. Number four, am I ready to give up anything, including my money, for the success of kingdom of God, such as crusades, so winning programs and building projects. That's how, these are the questions you answer. Number five, am I always excited and joyful when needed in church for an assignment, even when it's not convenient, without murmuring, complaining? For instance, prayer meetings. They've carried against if I don't pray, I won't officiate. Oh, I go pray. I can't officiate. You're not dedicated. You're not what? Number six, do I see service to God as a blessing or as a burden? Many see that as burden. They say, church again. Today operation, Andrew. Tomorrow operation, John. <laughs> you, when you come to church, you will show it to you, but this is your room. Every day, Papa would not allow us to rest operation, Andrew. Operation, Andrew. <laughs> Very good. Tell him I'm sleeping. Number seven, do I get discouraged even when I am not noticed for service rendered to God's house? There are people, if you don't commend them, what they have done. They, they say, last time I did, nobody even told me thank you. Are you waiting for human thank you? Stop looking for human commendation. Look for God's recommendation. Stop waiting for human what? Commendation, look for God's word, recommendation. So right here. We'll be looking at the enemies of dedication. How many of you want to be dedicated? We'll look at the enemies of what? Number one enemy of dedication is you, self. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1, 2, and 4. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, men shall be lovers of their own selves. As for lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Self is one major contender between you and your commitment with God. Those who love self more than God cannot be dedicated to the things of God. Mm. Selfishness disqualifies you from becoming a wonder in life. Until self dies, your glory will never emerge. Are you hearing me? Hmm? Mm -mm -mm. Self is the major contender of dedication. You want to be dedicated, self will tell you, have you not woken up to go to church and then one voice tells you, sleep, sleep, sleep. You have tried in our house since you were born, church, church. Is it only today you will not go and I will kill you? That voice is the voice of the devil. Eh? You go ahead since we are born. Calculate the years. Is it today or now? That will make you, are you the bishop of the church? Sleep. Dedicated person will jump up from bed and say, Satan, you are stupid. I'm going to church. But someone who's not dedicated will say, Thank God. Even God spoke to me as you rest. 
It's not God that spoke to you. You spoke to yourself with the devil. Number two enemy to dedication is trust in the arm of flesh. Trust in the arm of flesh. Do you know in the mind of many serving God, the thing is for the poor and for the low class. Life story. A man was came with some politicians. They came to church after service. We, are going, we went offices. While we are talking, they said, Pastor, I would have been coming to church, but you know, no problem. I don't have any problem. I said, sir, we don't go to church because we have problems. I said, that's the wrong perception. It's not correct. We serve God because of who he is. Not long after that statement, less than two years, he had cancer. And then at the, on the bed where he was about to die, they called me to pray for him. The Holy Ghost now told me, now this one is the morning. He said, Pastor, pray for me, I cannot die. Well, he's alive. Cancer left him. He's alive till now. But now I'm sure he will not make that kind of statement again. He will now know that it's not money. You don't know what you're losing thinking that people who serve God are poor people. No, that's nonsense. That's a wrong ideology. Are you hearing me, sir? Don't trust the arm of flesh. Some think that they don't need God again in their lives because they believe they are very comfortable and satisfied. When you ignore God, he will ignore you and you can attract a cost to yourself. Jeremiah 17 verse 5. Thus said the Lord, cause be the man that trusted in man whose flesh, which what? Make a flesh his arm, whose heart departed from the Lord. So I hear. Please, we are not serving God because we are poor. We are serving God before we is. You will not be dedicated if you think that going, do you know that people can never come to evangelism? They think evangelism is for low class. When we say today we are going to go for evangelism, uh, you know, all those, all those, they can go, they can go, they can go, they can go. You know, go, go. They feel evangelism is for a particular class of. It has nothing to do with people who have money. The third enemy of dedication is the wrong company. Wrong what? You cannot surround yourself with carnally minded people and be kingdom minded at the same time. Be not deceived, evil communication, corrupt what? Fair Corinthians 15 The GNT also said, do not be fooled. Bad companions ruin good character. You can't be dedicated. With wrong, wrong people around you. Everybody around you is a wrong person. Poo don't go to church. Poo, everything they talk is devil, 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 devil. The company you keep, watch it. Not everybody at the bus stop is traveling. Some are motorpark people. Is everyone at the airport who is traveling? Stop keeping the wrong word. Friendship is not by force, it's by choice. One bad friend is enough to destroy you. When God, I, I, I was turning, when God wants to bless you, he brings a person. And when he says I want to destroy you, he also brings a person. When God wants to bless you, he uses one, one person to change your life. And when he says I want to destroy you, he also uses one person to destroy you. So watch people around you. There are some people when they come, they just destroy your life. And that's when they enter your life, your life turn. Are you getting me now? Watch who is around you. Number four, enemy is pride. Is what? It's pride. God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. James 4, 6. It takes humility to be sold out to God. A proud heart will never be dedicated. Some people are so puffed up to serve God. They cannot become a one that with pride fully alive in them. They, even the way they enter church, they go, listen, they walk. They look at the seat, you want to see, they say, this blue seat? I can't see it here. Can't see it here. I told them, go and bring some share for me. Oh, Can't get one seat for me. He <laughs> said, sit there now. Walk on, see it. I can see here. Don't know why I'm the MD of National Movement Without Direction. <laughs> hey. You know, pride, pride is the overflowing one you're seeing. You know? 
Pride is inside the heart. Have you ever stayed like this and somebody is talking and say, I wish I was the one. I would have spoken better English than this guy. You know your problem? Right. This guy can't even speak English. And yet he says, is what, who is he? If I climb that rostrum and you see me talk, they will clap hand him. It's right. Proud people cannot be dedicated to God. They feel that dedication is for the for reference. Hmm? Luke 22, 24, 27. There was also a strife among them which of them should be the great, counted the greatest. 25. And he said unto them, the kings of the earth, Gentiles, assign lordship over them, and they that assign authority upon them are called what? Benefactors. But you shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as what? The younger. And that is chief, as he that does serve. For whether is greater he that seated at meat, or he that serveth. It's not he that sit at me, but I am among you as he that what? Mm. If you want to be dedicated, pride has to what? Die. Pride has to die. Yesterday, I sat by a young man when we were flying and he was talking. He said, I've been in Europe for years. So we talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. He was talking, talking with good accent. Fine accent. So I've been in Europe, so, so on, I'm married, so, so, so. I said, okay, no problem. I'm here now. <laughs> After we're done, when they don't know me, he said, but I'm coming to Portugal. I have a major project in Portugal, which I'm doing for them. Talk, 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 all the grammar, speak, spoke, spoke English, spoke England, spoke everything. I just laughed at that. Before we're done. He said, can I give you my number? I said, I don't, I don't know my number often. And I, I was not joking, I don't know it. When you're too busy, you will know number. People would want to know your own number. You will not know. I don't have complimentary card. It's not a sin to have. I don't have. Ask me why. I'm complimentary myself. I don't, I don't need a complimentary card to be known. I don't have a complimentary card. I've never printed one. You say, why? It's not a sin. David Biomia is enough. I don't have title. Check my name. You will never see pastor. No title. George Bush. Do you see any title? President George Bush, MLS, BFS? No. George Bush. Billy Graham. No Reverend Billy Graham. No Pastor Bl Billy Graham. If I tell you, I'll be shocked. In no Kadebe, no title. In no Kadebe. It's people who have no impact that look for big title. If you have impact, okay. Can I tell you something now? Hmm? Donald Trump, which title do you see? Donald Trump. There's not like President Donald Trump. Not like DRFFS. <laughs> Donald Trump. When you have impact, you are not there. With title. Okay, do I have a title? I don't have any title. There's no entitlement. It's not wrong to have a title, but when you have impact, send me later. David Biomi, don't put an address it will reach in Nigeria. Just send it. David Biomi, don't put any address. Just throw it Nigeria. Just put David Biomi, Nigeria. They will bring it to Portagot. Don't put address. Just anywhere in the world, just put David Biomi, Nigeria. As far as the entire post office, they'll say, we know the place. It's in Portagot. <laughs> so when we finish talking, after we <laughs> we finish talking, I just told him, I said, yeah, you've been, uh, been an architect. That means you've been to Panago, you could design, we talk, talk. I said, there's a project which I'm, uh, which I'm privileged to be part of. I didn't tell him I'm the pastor, I just I'm privileged to be part of. I said, since you come to Panago, it's one massive project. Enter, I said, I said, this person has heart. He said, I, I saw the project. I said, the person, with me, the person's heart is strong. I said, well, I'm the one sitting by your side. He said, sir, can I have your number now? <laughs> The language change. I, I said, well, just I just gave him a note. I didn't I didn't put any number. He was not scribbling his own number to give me. He says, I, I called him too because I'm looking for souls to be one. So I gave him my number, called him last night, and he said, I've been put out and I've been in church. Finished. That's all I was after. His soul. I was after his soul. 
Well, that's wrong. But the old BB grammar change. Let men not or let men underestimate you, and they become a surprise to them. Don't go somewhere and they raise you off your shoulders if you arrive, you know. Let people look at you as nobody. Then all of a sudden, they now see you that, Ooh, this, are you the one? Oh, my God. You know, a naughty, she, she, no get. You know, you know, evangelism. How can I go for evangelism? Do you know evangelism is for the poor? I don't like my car to enter potholes. Which one do you want to enter? Air hole. <laughs> Please be dedicated. Be what? Dedicated. Be... I enter water size, so I go to water size. What is the water size? Water size has grids. There are water front, water size, and, and uh, water side. <laughs> there are water sides, water front, and water side. <laughs> if you go to water side, you do like this. <laughs> we have to place leg. No way. Went to one other side in Dupe. The water they abated was crossing the road and everything was crossing the road. We were just jumping inside. We said, Jesus loves you. They said, ah, Papa, you come here. I said, well, Jesus loves you. That's why I came here. And some people, they get excited because they can't believe that you come to those places. Do you know what you're missing of preaching the gospel? Stay in your big house, one small house where you get. Things that the whole world are there and finish. Hmm? Proud people can never preach. They can't get it for you. Even as I'm talking, they say, what is he talking about? What is that guy talking about? Why is he saying that? Proud people? Does he know who he's talking about? Is he talking to people like us? You are the one I'm talking to. <laughs> Bring yourself. The almighty God came to our level to preach the gospel. Rewards of dedication. Rewards of what? What are the rewards of dedication? None of us will bury anyone around us. Yeah. When you are dedicated, these are the things you reward. Number one, you become precious in the sight of God. When you are dedicated, you become what? In John 8, 29, and he that sent me is with me, the Father has not left me alone, for I do always those things that what? Please him. God will always be with you when you are dedicated. May God be with you. Number two, you... You enjoy divine honor. You enjoy divine what? Second benefit of dedication, you enjoy divine honor. In John 12, 26, if any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my father be. If any man serve me, he will my father. May you enjoy honor from today. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. Number three, it guarantees divine protection and exemption. Guarantees divine what? Protection and exemption. Isaiah 43 verse 4, Since thou art precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for their life. Malachi 3 verse 17. Isaiah 43 verse 4. That's the first one I quoted. Isaiah 43 verse 4, and Malachi 3 verse 17. And they shall be mine, said the Lord of hosts, in that day, when I make all my jewels, I will spare him as a man that I have spared his own son, that served him. And I will disagree between that served me and he that served me. No, the verse 18. Number four, you flourish in life and business. When you are dedicated, you flourish in life and business. Psalm 92, 13 to 14. Those that have been planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the course of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit. What? In old age. No dry season. They shall be fat and flourish. Shout hallelujah. Number five, reward. Dedication. It guarantees supernatural provision and abundance. Guarantees supernatural provision and what? And abundance. Psalm 84, verse 11. For the Lord is the sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will you be told from them that what? Uprightly. Well, this season, as the Lord turns you into a wonder, the same men and women who mocked you, challenge you, God, you serve, they will be the ones who spread your testimony. I want to make up a decision and back with action. Committed to soul winning. Because the soul winning follow up. 
prayers given every way you can. Make sure you are dedicated to God by serving God. Rise to your feet. Lift your right hand and say, Father, I dedicate my life as a seed to you and all that concerns you. In Jesus' name.